When you think about mums and dads in games, your mind might immediately go to Eli Vance from Half-Life 2, Cooking Mama from Cooking Mama, or Liam Neeson in Fallout 3. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. They're the kind, loving and nurturing variety of parent that serves to support and comfort you during your adventure. Don't get me wrong, it's great that Fallout 3 lets me fantasise about the perfect universe in which Liam Neeson is my dad. I'm so proud of you. But none of these parents come across as interesting characters. Sure, they're role models, but that also dehumanises them to the point where they can sometimes feel cold. If you ask me, the best parents can be found in games where you get to be the parent. The kind of games where even when the whole world is against you, you have to put on a brave face and pretend to be a grown-up and a role model to your kids, and these experiences are in somewhat short supply. It's a shame, because games that let you play the parent can offer a unique insight into the mentally and physically stressful position of a guardian, without ever having to deal with the real-life worry of changing a nappy. Few games hand over the reins of parenthood directly to the player though, and several that do often waste that opportunity. I'm talking about games like Dead Rising 2 or Fallout 4. In both these games, your kids are in jeopardy from the literal apocalypse, but you'll likely be too distracted by monster killing or doing side missions to care for them. Oh no, you've been bit by a zombie? Oh, don't worry about that, I'll go find a cure for that right now, honey. Right after I'm done doing this. In both these games, your role as a parent barely exists beyond the setup. Instead of giving us characters that feel reactionary based on the role as a guardian, they end up feeling flavourless. But when used effectively, playing the parent can offer some interesting insights into the stresses and joys of parenthood, and games like Octodad nails those emotions perfectly. You act out a day in the life as an average parent, if you are an octopus. You'll make breakfast, get the groceries and even go on a day trip with the kids, all while acting undercover as an octopus. Your noodly limbs and intentionally unwieldy controls make even the simplest of tasks, like grilling burgers, feel like the game is asking you to run a marathon on your knees. <laughs> Under an overly analytical microscope, the game could be considered a metaphor for the difficulty of parenting. How often have you heard someone exclaim, I'm not an octopus, when it comes to multitasking? Well, be careful what you wish for, because having eight arms and no bones probably isn't all it's cracked up to be. It may look like a fool's errand, but Octodad desires the humble white picket fence life, and everything he does is for the sake of keeping the family together, a surprisingly human ambitious for an octopus. Stresses abound, he does it all out of love. Another game that does a great job of putting you in the stressful mindset of a parent is Cart Life. Though there's three playable characters, the best story centres around Melanie, who's given one week to prove to a court that she earns enough to provide for her daughter during a joint custody hearing. To get money, you set up your own coffee shop and work long, repetitive hours doing the same mundane tasks over and over again. Coffee bean quality, merchant licences and even bus travel costs have to be carefully factored in to make sure you're doing the most with your available time and money. In the middle of everything else, you'll need to maintain a healthy relationship with your daughter Laura. That means picking her up from school on time and keeping her spirits high during conversations. If you neglect these duties, your relationship will wane and it can affect the ending you get. It's a lot to keep track of, but everything you do is ultimately for Laura. Even after a long day at work, you're reminded why you put yourself through the ringer. You do it all because you want to see a happy ending to this desperate story. But perhaps the best and most recent example of parenting done justice exists in 2018's God of War, where you play as Kratos, a fearsome deity and a less than perfect father to his son, Atreus. The responsibility of fatherhood has been thrust onto Kratos following the death of his wife, and immediately you'll notice this is a dysfunctional family unit. Kratos is the kind of guy who can take down towering gods and demons with ease, but what truly terrifies him is having a conversation with his own son. He prefers to simply bark orders rather than have small talk. Holy fire, when I tell you to fire. I'm sorry. Do not be sorry. Be better. He certainly isn't winning any Dad of the Year competitions, and your son can be a real brat at times too. But over the course of the game, their relationship grows organically, and the respect for each other develops. While the combat is bloody and satisfying, the true highlights of the game are the little moments when Atreus surprises Kratos with his insights. He's watching his son become his own man, and seeing that happen in front of your eyes makes you feel like a proud father which is a sensation I don't think any other game has made me feel. The God of War reboot took some risks that could potentially alienate its fanbase, but it paid off massively. 
Off the back of its success, I wouldn't be surprised if more games attempted to use parenthood as a driving point for its story in the future, mostly because the gaming audience is slowly growing up. Chances are, if you remember playing Super Mario Bros back in 85, you probably have kids of your own, and game designers too are getting to that stage in their lives, so they may want to incorporate elements of their own parenting experiences into their projects. Notably, Cory Balrog, the director for God of War, became a father during the game's development, and he brought a lot of his personal experiences to the game. Things like this add a real sense of truth and value to the game's characters, and that's something I'm really excited to see in the future. I'm always looking to experience new perspectives on life through gaming. But one perspective we desperately need more of, however, is more playable mums in games. I really had to rack my brain before finding an interesting example. I finally found one through Melanie, but there aren't many others. Even after trawling through some online lists, it didn't help much in finding some good examples. You know you're scraping the barrel when someone puts Kangaskhan on their 7 best gaming mums list. Come on guys, really? Despite that, these games offer a unique means in putting players in the headspace of a parent, and they all understand one simple truth, bringing up kids can be hell. <laughs> Playing the parent can teach you a lot about parenthood, since it's often a stressful experience and there's no immediate glory in raising children, and kids rarely appreciate the sacrifices that parents make for them. Getting to walk around in a parent's shoes as they try to do right by their kids can be a unique and remarkable experience, and if done right, it can cleverly evoke the stresses and joys of parenthood. All these games prove that even in the midst of a bleak, chaotic and brutal world, parents will always find something worth fighting for. Close your heart to it.